Are you planning to start an online store with Shopify that stocks multiple types and styles of products? Then you'll want to create and set up your store with collections. In this video, I'll not only show you how to manually create these collections, but I'll also demonstrate how you can automate these products into certain collections, creating a more streamlined system that'll save you time and energy. Hi, I'm Alicia. Here, I share tips, tricks, and information to help you build your online store, giving you the confidence of taking your dream of owning your own online business and making it a reality. So, so as a brief overview, essentially collections are groups of products that make it easier for your customers to find the products they are searching for within your online store. Collections are also great for introducing related products to customers or highlighting products within a certain category. For example, your best sellers or your sale items. In this video, I'll not only show you how to set up your collections, but I'll also go through the systems I use to ensure that any future products that you add to your store automatically get categorized for you. Sounds good? Then let's get into it. So first I'll show you how to create a collection manually. Once logged into Shopify, you want to head over to the menu on the left here and click products and then collections. Click create collection. Okay, so where it says collection type here, for this part of the demonstration, we want to select manual. Just as a reference, a collection type is how the products will be added to your collections. I'll go through automatic shortly. So let's scroll to the top. For this store, I'm going to create three different collections. This is a yoga apparel and accessory store. So I want to create a tops collection, a bottoms collection, and an accessories collection. So let's add our first collection by adding a title. Let's call this one tops. For the description, you also want to add a collection image so that when the collection shows up on your home page, an image will appear with the collection title. So once this has been uploaded, you want to review all the details and then click save. Once you have saved, you'll then be able to start adding products to your collection. So just scroll down to products here, where it's got search products, you'll just wanna click browse. Then just add the products that align with your collection. For example, I'll select the yoga crop, the yoga long sleeve, and the yoga tee, as these are all the yoga tops. Then click add, and there we have it. We've got our yoga crop, yoga long sleeve, and yoga tee that's been added to our collection. Once you're happy with all the products we've added, let's just scroll to the top and click this I button here to view the collection. So there we have our collection image here, our title, and then all the products within that collection. Now you'll just want to go ahead and create all the collections you need for your store. So we'll add a bottoms collection and also an accessories collection. I'll go ahead and do that for you now and I'll see you once that's all done. Now that we have created our collections, we'll want to add these to our store so that they can be easily accessed by our customers. So under sales channels and online store and under themes, we'll click the customize button here. So what we want to do now is we want to add a new section which will auto populate our newly created collections. So to the left here, we want to go to add section and under the collections tab, we want to click collections list and then add. So you will notice under the content section, we've got three different tabs here for our three different collections. Let's click on this top arrow here under collection, select collection. And now we can add our newly created collections by clicking any one of these three here. So we'll start with tops and you'll see that it's already come up here. So we've got the title, the image, and then our heading here, collection list. Click select. And now we just wanna do this for the other two. So there we have it. Our three collections are auto-populated and included on our online store. Click the save button and let's go back. Let's check out our online store by just clicking this little eye icon. And if we scroll to the bottom, we should find those collections that we've just created. 
there we have it. So our collection list, we've got our tops, our bottoms and our accessories. And if we click into tops here, we'll be redirected to that collection. Okay, so let's close that off. Now I'll show you how you can set up an automatic system for any future products you might add to your store. This way your products will be automatically added to your designated collection. So to do this, you want to click back to products, collections, again we want to go to create collection, and this time instead of selecting manual under collection type, we want to click automated. Now there is a couple of ways you can set this up, but for now what I'll do is create a collection based on the best sellers in our store. You can have products automatically updated based on different word matchups. For example, if a product has a tag sale attached to it, then the product will automatically be added to the sales collection. There are many different combinations you can use here, but for this example, we'll use the product tags. So here we've got product tag, and like I mentioned, you can choose different themes here, but we'll click product tag is equal to, and then if we click in here, we've got the tag best sellers. We've also got a summer and winter, but for this one, we'll do best seller. You can also add another condition here if you like, but for now, we'll just leave it as is. So let's just scroll to the top. And for the title, we want to call it best seller. And then we want to give it a description. Then click save. Okay, so that's our best sellers collection created. Now the way that you can automate this is by setting up your products with tags. So let's show you how this works. Let's go to products and let's check out one of our products here. So we'll click on the yoga hat product and to the right here if you scroll down you'll see that there's a section to add your tags so because I want to add this to our bestsellers collection I want to give it a bestsellers tag so here bestseller okay and then click save so let's add this collection to our home page by again clicking on the online store button here under sales channel themes and then customize now this theme is actually auto-populated with a featured collection button. So let's click on that so we can edit it. So as we can see, Shopify has auto-populated a product into our featured collection, but we wanna change this. We wanna change our heading to say bestsellers and we wanna change the product. So here under heading, let's change that to bestsellers. And under collection, Instead of it being the home page products, we want to change this. So we'll go change and we want to click best sellers. And there we have it. So it's been auto populated with all the products that have a tag best sellers. Click select, click save. Okay, now let's go back and check this all out. So I click here, click the Shopify icon where it says online store, just click the I icon. And if we scroll down, we should see our new best sellers section. Here we go. So we've got our yoga hat, our yoga bands, and our yoga mat, all with the best seller tag. Again, if we scroll down, here's our featured collection list. So there you have it. These are the two different ways you can set up collections for your online store with Shopify so that everything on your store is easily accessible by your customers. Being able to create collections is one of the many features I love about using Shopify for your online store. If you're thinking about opening your own online store using Shopify and are looking for an easy to follow beginner tutorial, then be sure to check out my full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build your online store using Shopify, which will take you from sign up to open for business in just under an hour. I'll leave a link to the video here on the screen so you can go check it out and I'll meet you on the next video.